Elon Musk warns civil war in Western countries will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Increasing internal political contradictions, conflicts on religious and ethnic grounds, problems with migrants can lead not only to new mass protests and clashes with the police, but also cause large-scale civil wars in Western countries. American entrepreneur Elon Musk made such a rather gloomy forecast on his social network account, commenting on the publication of Canadian professor Gad Saad, in which the scientist warned that the migration policy adopted in the West would result in the beginning of a civil war. Musk, as always, succinctly wrote, the war will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Earlier, the European Parliament, after almost 10 years of discussions and agreements, adopted a new pact regarding the migration policy of the European Union. The document turned out to be very controversial and once again emphasised disagreements on this issue both in the political elites of the EU countries and in society. On the one hand, the pact provides for tougher immigration laws. In particular, new rules are being established that provide for increased control at external borders and faster procedures for the expulsion of those who do not have the right to be on the territory of the Union. At the same time, the reform provides for a more equitable distribution of migrants across different EU countries, which should reduce the burden on the so-called first-line states that suffer most from the influx of migrants. However, not everyone in the European Union agrees with the new rules. Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and External Economic Relations Peter Siato said Budapest will not allow in illegal migrants despite the new pact. Supporters of the law, who campaigned for its passage amid the rise of the far right ahead of European Parliament elections in June, hailed the move as a major victory. In contrast, European non-profit human rights organisations have called the sweeping changes to EU migration legislation a step backwards for human rights. On the night of April 20th, there was a drone attack on the Smolensk region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the fuel energy complex. ASA result, an explosion and fire occurred at the Centroneft product oil base belonging to the Luke Oil Company. The number of victims is not reported. At night, there was also a drone attack on energy facilities in Kaluga, Bryansk, and Belgorod regions. Electricity has been cut off in some areas. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, a total of 50 drones attacked the territory of the country. Вот это прям пиздец. А вон там нефтика догорает. А здесь лукойл и еще не все в ю. И вот это не весело, прям пиздец. Нефтика немножко похуже горит, а вот лукойл, блять, горит ох. Блять, прям кто-то у нехило, блять. Уже 8 взрывов. Смотри, что происходит у нас тут. Thank you.